Hey, what's going on, Who That Nation? Welcome to another edition of the State of the Saints podcast, where we talk New Orleans Saints. My name is TJ Jones. Thanks for checking out the podcast. I really do appreciate it. On this edition, I want to talk a little bit about the late, great Tom Benson. Now, I'm pretty sure if you're in the Who That Nation, you know exactly who Tom Benson is. Tom Benson was the owner of the New Orleans Saints um, from the late 80s all the way to 2018, where unfortunately he passed away. And, um, you know, he would have been 92 years old. Um, if you're listening to this podcast, I'm doing it on a Friday. He would have been 92 years old today. And I want to talk a little bit about the legacy of Tom Benson. And um, Tom Benson, once again, he owned the Saints back in the, the mid-80s. Um, we all know about the New Orleans Saints from um, the beginning of uh, their uh, team uh, being a franchise in the National Football League. Wasn't much to talk about, man. I mean, some embarrassing stuff. I mean, it, it was uh, pretty horrible if you were a Saints fan from the, the late 60s on to probably about 1983, 84-ish. It was pretty bad, man. I mean, it was it was really tough to watch. Of course, it's no secret. Uh, you know, New Orleans Saints fans came up with the bags on the head. You know, the the swagman bags, man. I know if you're from New Orleans, you know a little something about swagmans. You know, we used to get them brown paper bags and cut some uh, holes in there for eyes, and we'll put the word "ain'ts" on there. I mean, it was some bad times. But then Tom Benson um took over. I mean. We, we seen that the New Orleans Saints made the playoffs for the first time under head coach Jim Mora. Um, Jim Mora was a defensive-minded coach. Uh, I think he uh, coached in the um, USFL um, back in the day. Um, he won a couple championships there. And, um, you know, Jim Mora was always a good coach. And we know about the Saints uh, having one of the best defenses in all of football, you know, led by uh, Ricky Jackson, um, Pat Swillen, and – Von Johnson, known as the Dome Patrol, okay? So, I mean, it was some good times uh, towards the, the late 80s. We've seen the Saints make the playoffs. And, uh, you know, it was some good times under Tom Benson. And, uh, you know, there was some not-so-good times. I can remember being a kid um, in the, the early 90s, and I can remember Tom Benson um, being – really cheap. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's no easy way to put it. I mean, Tom Benson was cheap and he allowed some of the best New Orleans Saints players to walk in free agency. I mean, I remember uh, back in, uh, I say about uh, late 99, 2000, when the Saints had some good defensive players like Big Norman Hand, may he rest in peace. I mean, Joe Johnson, Leroy Glover, Sammy Knight, at the safety position, and I can just remember him allowing those guys to get out the door. I was like, man, why would you let those guys go? Why would you let Leroy Glover, who led the the team in sacks, and I think he was maybe ranked like two or three in the NFL in sacks, why would you let that guy walk? Why would you let Joe Johnson walk? I, I was just confused. And then we all know about Hurricane Katrina, when the Saints are relocated, and a lot of questions were asked, will the New Orleans Saints come back to the city? And he thought about moving the Saints to San Antonio, which is a big no-no. And, and, I mean, a lot of people were ticked off at Tom Benson. But he did decide to come back and um, bring the team back to New Orleans um, once the city made a commitment to uh, renovate the Superdome for the 2006 NFL season. And the rest is history, man. The signing of Drew Brees and – and, and um, Sean Payton as the head coach. And I, I will say this, man. I know a lot of people don't want to uh, mention this, but I got to say it. Rita Benson LeBlanc was the reason for the Saints' resurgence. Um, she had a lot to do with it. Now, I know um, towards the uh, latter years of his life, towards the end, him and his uh, family were beefing. And, I mean, a lot of crazy things happened, but... Um, she was responsible for a lot of things happening and a lot of the turnaround for the New Orleans Saints organization. So I want to give her credit for that. But Tom Benson seemed like towards the end of his life, he started to be a little bit uh, less uh, cheap, I should say, when it comes to the players. Getting those players in here, you know, that can actually, uh, you know, do something that's beneficial, um, wanting to uh, create a championship team. Uh, you know, and also uh, you got to uh, talk about some of his philanthropy, uh, you know, of course, uh, renovating um, the field in Canton, Ohio, 
And as of right now, it is known as Tom Benson Field. Uh, Tom Benson, you know, he really did uh, try his best uh, towards the end of his life to try to uh, make a turnaround. So what kind of legacy did Tom Benson leave? Well, I think that you have to look at this guy, um, uh, the, the tale of three times. I mean, you had Tom, the, the shrewd businessman towards the beginning of his ownership with the Saints. Um, the the very uh, stubborn individual, you know, as the owner, didn't want to pay players. And then you, you notice the turnaround towards the end of his life. So um, I, I would like to remember Tom Benson as the guy who got the Saints their first Super Bowl title. The guy who is known for the Benson boogie, celebrating with that umbrella at the end of each game. Uh, <laughs> the funniest moment when he thought that uh, the Saints were going to win the game because uh, I think that was Garrett Hartley kicked the field goal. He ended up shanking it, and he was hugging his wife, and <laughs> he realized that the, the guy missed the field goal. And <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious, man! I'm not gonna pull it up, of course, man, because of uh, copyright issues. But <laughs> that was pretty funny, man. Garrett Hartley missing the field goal. Uh, Gail Benson hugging Tom Benson. They celebrating, and all of a sudden they realize he missed the field goal. Oh my goodness, that was huh hilarious but rest in peace to tom benson um your legacy um will live on and a lot of people in the who that nation will forever remember the king of the benson boogie but i would like to hear from you man what do you think about tom benson the late great tom benson comment down below like and share this video this has been the state of the saints podcast please subscribe to the youtube channel youtube.com search the state of the saints podcast and of course Previous videos and episodes are available on iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio.com. Till next time, all I have to say is, who that?